So today is Black Friday. A lot of you guys are probably doing some online shopping this year. Maybe some of you guys are braving it and going out in this COVID riddled world uh, to get some killer deals, doorbuster deals, whatever the case might be. There's some people that can only get stuff in store. Obviously, if you're looking for next-gen platforms, it's always best to stay home if you're trying to get a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X uh, because most stores are saying, hey, look, you can only order these online. I know at like Walmart, as an example, you can only buy PlayStation 5 online and have it shipped to your home. Uh, if you're buying an Xbox Series X at Walmart, it says you can only buy online and have it shipped to the store. So you can't actually buy them in store. Uh, that's not necessarily true at GameStop. I know GameStop has had uh, some Xbox Series Xs in store even since long. Launch. So it is what it is. It's kind of a crazy world we live in. But what's even crazier is what's happening with Nintendo Switch. Now, again, I want to know this has nothing to do with taking down the Xbox Series X or the PlayStation 5 or any sort of bias because those platforms are sold out. They're sold out. They cannot physically sell more than they're already selling. Every unit that comes off the manufacturing line is sold before it even hits the store. So they're doing incredibly well. We don't know how well, but they're doing incredibly well because they can't make enough of them. But it turns out Nintendo is in the same situation, and they don't have a new platform. They actually have full-bore manufacturing going right now. This is not like the shortages that happened earlier this year because manufacturing was shut down. In fact, Nintendo has opened up a third major manufacturing outfit. So right now, Nintendo has three major companies working on systems for them. Well, four, actually. Sorry, four major companies. They have Hosoden, Foxconn, Mitsumi, and Sharp. Okay, they just added Sharp. Uh, two of these companies are outside of China, so Nintendo doesn't have to worry about any potential trade issues that come up in the future between the U.S. and China, and the rest are in China, obviously. Uh, Sharp is actually part of uh, Foxconn, but considered separate because Foxconn doesn't own the whole of them. Anyways, the point is Nintendo has four major manufacturing outfits. These four major, major manufacturing out outfits are leading to a 30 percent year-on-year increase in shipment volumes for this month and this holiday period that means nintendo which sold over 10 million nintendo switches last holiday period have created 30 percent more this time around okay so 13 million or so we are seeing coming in right now well 13 million or so are on pace for this holiday period because nintendo added a fourth manufacturing line but here's the thing here's the thing in the united states and in japan the Nintendo Switch is sold out. It's completely sold out. There are still some places online where you might be able to find some obscure outlet right now. You might be able to find like a Switch Lite or something. But the big thing they're pushing this year in the United States, at least, is that Mario Kart 8 bundle, right? Well, good luck finding one. It, it hasn't been available for a couple days. The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe bundle has been sold out before we even got to these sales days. It's gone. You want it? Head to eBay where you can get resellers selling it for $400, $435. Buy it now is at $430. Buy it now is at $408. Buy it now is at $450. Um, yeah, that $300 holiday bundle, it's gone. Scalpers have taken it, and so have obviously legit consumers. Obviously, we're going to have a video on scalpers later, so I'm not going to get too deep into the scalping stuff, but I just want to put out there that this is really, really insane. Nintendo... The, the Nintendo has predicted that they're going to sell about 24 million or so this fiscal year, which ends March 31st, 2021. But some people think that they're even short changing that. Uh, David Gibson, uh, who is the person who gave us this information about the fourth manufacturer Nintendo added and the 30% increase, uh, he is um, on top of his stuff, right? Um, he, you know, on his, on his Twitter profile, says he's games, internet, social media, tech, and IT are my interests. He's the co-founder of Astro's Adversary in Japan, KK. He's at all of Nintendo's financial briefings. He is on top of this stuff and is never wrong when it comes to these reports because he knows. He's an investor in Nintendo. He knows this stuff. Here's the thing. David Gibson has put out there that he thinks Nintendo is even shortchanging what they're going to sell. He thinks this 30% increase that they've been doing is going to have to continue into the new year to meet demand. And if it has to continue into the new year to make demand, well, guess what? Nintendo Switch is going to end up selling about 26 to 27 million units this fiscal year, which is insane to think about. That's an almost 30 million fiscal year. That puts it on pace to surpass the best-selling year ever for the Nintendo 3DS. Now, I'm not sure about the DS, 
We got to go look at some numbers and do some crunching there to see if it has a shot to pass the best DS year ever or the best Wii year ever. Still, there is some crazy numbers going on right now that with, with the Switch. Like, Nintendo Switch for 23 straight months has been the number one selling platform in the U.S. That is a record for as long as they've been tracking sales data. There has not been a single platform, including Nintendo's platforms, PlayStation, or anything, that has dominated the sales charts in this fashion. And the scare for Nintendo this month, it's not really a scare, but it's more like, oh, what could prevent, what could knock them off their high horse? Well, that's the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. And by no means, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X are having phenomenal launches. Both of them are the best launches ever in their in their company's history. So PlayStation 5 is the best launch compared to any other PlayStation system ever, which I think their record holder right now is PlayStation 4. Uh, the Xbox Series X slash S is having its best launch ever in the history of Xbox, and its best launch was a little bit over a million units by the Xbox One. So we both know these platforms have probably sold maybe 2 or 3 million this month uh, already. Or, or by the end of this month, right, for a crazy launch period. But it's conceivable that the Switch has sold even more than that, that the Switch has sold 7, 8, 9, 10 million this month, potentially. The Nintendo Switch, the reason that it is able to hit these numbers is because unlike the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch is in full bore manufacturing in the middle of its generation. So the Switch has more units being made every single day than the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 likely combined. Why is that? Well, because Nintendo does not have lines making 3DSs anymore. They don't have lines making Wii U's. Every single manufacturing line Nintendo controls is doing nothing but making Switches right now. Maybe there's one line making Switch Pros or something. I don't know. But either way, it's Switch related. When you look at what's happening with the uh, Xbox uh, you know, Series X and S, you look at what's happening with the PlayStation 5, they're still making PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pros. Now, Xbox did discontinue the Xbox One X, but they are still making Xbox Ones and Xbox One S's. So... They don't have all their manufacturing lines dedicated to next gen like Nintendo does. So this isn't a fault of those companies, of course, because the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One are going to be budget systems that are going to sell well this holiday. So, of course, they're going to keep them going for at least one more holiday period. But this is why Nintendo has a direct advantage when it comes to current generation, which, by the way, for those who don't know, whether you want to admit it or not, the current generation is Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series X slash S, and the PlayStation 5. That's it. That is the current generation. People want to take Wii U and, and, and Switch and throw it together as, oh, that's last gen. It's not. Wii U was last gen, yes. Switch was actually the first next gen system. Yeah, it released three years before the competition. So? So the Wii U released before the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. So is Wii U actually part of the 360 slash PlayStation 3 era? Of course not. That's the Wii. The Wii U had four years on the market. It didn't sell well, so it got replaced with Switch. That does that means Switch is Nintendo's next-gen system. So of the current generation of systems, Switch is part of that. I don't know why people want to discount it. I don't know why it matters what gen things are part of, but that's the reality that we're sitting in. So Switch is dominating this holiday. It's going to continue to dominate this holiday. It does not mean PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are not doing well. They're doing as well as they can. You know, Phil Spencer put out there, yeah, it sucks we didn't have more exclusives. It sucks we had to push Halo Infinite, but I don't know how these games would have made us sell any better right now because we can't make enough units. Every unit is sold before it's even made, and that's true for PlayStation as well. So we're at this point where all three platforms are selling out, and the Switch selling out is the most surprising of them because there are so many Switches out there. I mean, it just sold 179,000 units in Japan last week, and it sold out. And they're thinking about going back to the lottery system for the rest of the year for Switch. They're doing lotteries for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X right now in Japan. They're thinking about doing that for Switch as well. And in the United States, we couldn't even make it to Black Friday and keep it in stock. And we couldn't even get to the big sale day. Like, Nintendo is having an incredibly hard time keeping these things in stock. So, again, I'm not saying go to secondhand and, and spend $100 plus dollars more than, than what this system is worth at retail. Obviously, wait. Nintendo does have full manufacturing you will be able to get them. When their shipments come in, they're coming in with dozens of units, not just a few units, which it seems like Walmart, GameStop, and other places are getting like a few PlayStation 5s, a few Xbox Series Xs or Ss at once, whereas they're getting, you know, 30, 40 Switches at once because Nintendo's just at a higher manufacturing volume right now. But they can't keep them in stock. 
The demand for Switch is real. This is happening in a year when there hasn't really been a major release outside of Animal Crossing. Yes, Age of Calamity is doing fantastic. Let's not ignore that that's a thing. Yes, they had, you know, uh, Paper Mario earlier this year. None of those games are a big deal. Not compared to Animal Crossing. It's a, a one major game release year. It's a year that Nintendo basically took off because of COVID. And you know what? It doesn't matter. Because Nintendo's business strategy is so different than everyone else. They sell their systems on the back of their evergreen titles. For three straight holidays, they have used the same Mario Kart 8 bundle. Mario Kart 8 being a game from the Wii U era. A port. They have used that as a Switch bundle for three straight years. And for three straight years, it has sold out. And it is sold out right now and being scalped because people can't find it anywhere. They couldn't find it today on Black Friday. I'm not saying you might have been lucky. You might have been one of those lucky people that did find it. But it's been sold out everywhere, man. I I saw Nintendo Switches in stock at my Walmart like four days ago. They were gone. They were gone <laughs> before the day was out. I stopped there for some groceries and I just happened to pop into electronics. And I'm like, huh, they have a full stock of Switches. And they're gone. Half of them were gone before I even left the store. Like, dude, Switch is in high demand right now. In Japan, in the United States, and I'm guessing worldwide. I'm guessing Nintendo's selling out of every single system they can get off those lines, and they're making systems at a much quicker rate than everyone else. So I think Nintendo is probably safe holding on to their MPD this this, this uh, month. I would be highly surprised if they didn't because the thought process has always been when PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X plus S arrive, that Nintendo Switch's sales would, would, would decrease. And they would decrease because people would want these new generation systems and the Switch would lose a little bit of momentum because it can't get the same cross-platform games. It doesn't get the Assassin's Creed Valhalla's or the Madden's of the world or even a current-gen FIFA. It doesn't get any of this stuff besides NBA 2K. And Nintendo's going to fall behind because everyone's going to want these new-gen platforms that are hard to get. And Matt, that might be true at some point in 2021. But then again, Nintendo's 2021 is shaping up to look fantastic. Have you seen the game lineup already for 2021 including the games we think are coming like breath of the wild 2 they look like they have an incredible lineup for 2021 so is playstation 5 and xbox series x going to affect it then i don't think so i don't think playstation 5 and xbox series x have an effect on switch anyways because they don't replace what the switch does are they portable no so they don't replace what switch does just like switch doesn't replace the playstation 5 a gaming pc or you know an xbox series x it just doesn't replace those platforms I happily own a Series X, a gaming PC, and a, a Nintendo Switch, and eventually a PlayStation 5. I'm going to own them all because they all bring merits and different things to the table that I really enjoy. Like right now, I'm playing World of Warcraft Shadowlands on my PC. I'm also trying to finish up Age of Calamity on my Switch while enjoying Madden, not even the next-gen version of Madden yet because I need to get uh, the, the December 3rd update, and it's not December 3rd yet. I'll be playing that as well, and, and Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I'm playing that as well on my Series X. So I've got that going on, and then finally when I get a PlayStation 5, I'll, I'll dive into Miles Morales, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to quite get Demon Souls yet, uh, but there, there's some old PlayStation 4 games I want to check out that I haven't played yet. So, again, a lot of things I'm looking forward to. Everyone's winning right now. That's the message here. Everyone's winning. It just so happens that Nintendo is doing Wii DS numbers and breaking records. All right, folks. I'm Nintendo RoboGents from the Center Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.